Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel Gateway to IT. In our last video, we installed uh, the vCenter server in a VM on VMware Workstation successfully. In this video, we will create uh, our Denver data center and add the ESXi host to the respective clusters. So let's get started. So as you know that I have the Edge browser installed and I already created my uh, shortcuts on my favorite toolbar. So I'm going to click on VSCSA shortcut for to access our vSphere web page. Uh, once we click on that, we need to click on launch vSphere client HTML5 and we need to log on with our administrator and the vSphere local single sign on domain and give it the password that we configured. So once we log on, we see that there is no vSuccess server added right now. We, uh, we just have the vCenter server console um, visible. If we check the rest of the tabs, storage, there is nothing, no, nothing in networking, storage, VMs, or clusters. So this is where we are going to add our uh, cluster. So let me right click on this node which says vcsa stark industry.com and click on new data center uh, i'm going to name my data center as denver colorado and in this data center i'm going to create two clusters one is for production and one is for management so let me add a new cluster uh, as you can see that uh, when we click on new cluster, it gives us multiple choices like vSphere DRS, vSphere HA and vSAN. But uh, we're not worried about them right now. Uh, let me just create two cluster servers for clusters here for our ESXi server. So for this one, I'm going to give uh, the name as production one. And another one I'm going to create for our management server uh, where we will have our management devices such as domain controllers or in future we're going to install the SSM server as well in this environment so let me hit enter I hit, click on the new cluster give it the name management so let me give it MGMT and so that uh, just to make sure that it does not come um, you know in the uh, it is not sorted uh, above the uh, production so i'm going to add a v uh, just to make sure that it uh, it is sorted automatically in this gui so you can see that uh, it is sorted automatically now we are at the step where we can add the host as you can see the basic look uh, as per this quick start uh, screen you can see that the, with that we the second step is to add the host so I'm going to right click on a cluster click on add host and here we can provide the FQDN of our ESXi servers so uh, the the ESXi servers such as ESXi dash one dot stark industries.com root and password I give the credentials and I want to use the same credentials for the rest of the servers so I'm going to add it ESXi123 to the production cluster and we'll be adding the uh, the ESXi server 4 to the to our management cluster so let me click on next as soon as we click on next it prompts us with the certificate of those ESXi servers and you can now you know that why did we create the hosted records in DNS because now we are able to resolve the name uh, in DNS and uh, we are able to hit the correct ESXi servers. So once we make a selection, we can click on OK and then we need to click on Next. We need to review and click on Finish. So as soon as we click on Finish, we see there are some red dots but they will be automatically gone and you see that when we add the server to the cluster they are added in the in the maintenance board as you can see over here right now these clusters these e success servers have been added in the maintenance mode so to get them out of the maintenance mode we can right click on them 
click on maintenance mode select the maintenance mode from the menu and then ex select exit maintenance mode so once we hit exit maintenance mode our e6i server looks good and as as you select there as you select the any of the e6i server you can see its configuration its name um, the model of the machine the processor it has how many logical processors it has since how long it has been connected and uptime and also see the available also see the available cpu memory and storage if you select on the second node you see the same kind of configuration same kind of information on this panel and uh, now we will add the uh, e-success server 4 to our second uh, cluster the management cluster so let me right click on it add host and here I'm going to provide the name ESXi-4 dot stark industries dot com let me make sure the spellings is correct stark industries dot com and root and the password click on next so once I click on next it will be added again in maintenance mode and we need to get it out of the maintenance mode so as you can see it is added in maintenance mode and now we can just go ahead and select the maintenance mode from the menu and click on exit maintenance mode once we select that we see that it's now out of maintenance mode um, you can go ahead select any of this is a success server and monitor the other node also we will be monitoring the same in our future nuggets but uh, just as the initial review you can go ahead and check the data store they have the kind of update uh, they have uh, one thing I, I like to do in this scenario is uh, you know I go to the data stores and rename the data stores so that we are able to identify individually which data store belongs to which is success server because if you go to the data store you see it shows all data stores at data store 1 2 3 4 but in order to recognize which data store belongs to which ASXI server we need to right click on it and give it an appropriate name so such as what I do I select dash 0 because it's a local data store so I mark it as local and then I give the name of the ASXI server so this data store belongs to ASXI 1 as you can see it, is, it has been renamed correctly now let me go to the other one right click on it rename it mark it as and just need to change the change it to 2 <coughs> so it should be renamed it is renamed now right click on it rename it zero three and now we're going to rename the last one So now we have renamed the data store name in our next uh, video. We'll be uh, adding a storage, a remote storage. We'll be configuring uh, the distributed switch, uh, uh, adding another storage server so that we can start creating our VMs. If you like our work, please uh, subscribe to our channel and do share it with your colleagues. Thank you.